Meet Jane. Just a few years ago, Jane found herself drowning in debt and living paycheck to paycheck. It was a financial planner's comment, money is a tool, learn its rules, that changed everything for her. Today, she's not just debt-free but well on her way to achieving her financial goals. So what transformed Jane's financial landscape? The Golden Rules of Personal Finance Join us as we unravel these pivotal principles that everyone should be aware of, guiding you towards financial empowerment, just as they did for Jane. Let the journey begin. Differentiating wants from needs. Mistaking our desires for necessities often leads us down the path of financial instability. At the core, our fundamental needs as humans are quite basic. Sustenance, attire, a roof over our heads, medical attention, and dependable transportation. Beyond these essentials, most things can be categorized as wants. This isn't to say that we shouldn't occasionally treat ourselves to these desires. Life would indeed be colorless without such indulgences. However, it's crucial to consciously select which wants we pursue, ensuring they don't threaten our financial well-being. Take the story of Alina, for instance. Growing up, she lived in a modest home and was taught the value of differentiating between wants and needs. As she started her first job, the allure of the latest gadgets, designer clothes, and frequent dine-outs was tempting. One day, after a sudden medical emergency, she found herself in a financial pinch. The savings that could have been there had been spent on a new phone, the latest handbag, and other non-essentials. This event was a wake-up call for Alina. She began to prioritize her needs over fleeting wants and soon not only built an emergency fund, but also started investing for her future. Through her story, we're reminded of the importance of distinguishing between our basic needs and our ever-evolving desires. Stay true to your financial boundaries. Maintaining a well-defined budget and adhering to the principle of not exceeding your income can liberate you from the exhausting cycle of earning, overspending, repaying debt, and then back to earning. It's commendable to live within your financial boundaries, but it's even more advantageous to spend beneath those limits. This approach allows you to have extra savings, forming the cornerstone of your financial future. Consider the story of Max. Growing up, he observed his parents struggling with credit card debts and living paycheck to paycheck. Determined not to follow in their footsteps, Max started his adult life with a clear budget in place. Even when he got a promotion and a raise at his job, instead of upgrading his lifestyle, he decided to maintain his previous spending habits. This allowed him to not only avoid debt, but to accumulate savings. Over the years, thanks to this surplus, Max was able to invest, take a few well-deserved vacations, and even make a down payment on his dream home, proving the benefits of living beneath one's means. Through Max's journey, we understand the importance of recognizing our financial limits and the long-term rewards of such discipline. Prioritize your financial future. Prioritizing saving by paying yourself first offers several advantages. Chief among them is that it effectively eliminates the dilemma of deciding between spending or saving. By automating transfers to savings accounts, IRAs, or 401k plans, you sidestep the allure of immediate gratification, ensuring you save before spending. Consider Rose's story. From her very first paycheck, she decided on a simple rule. 20% of her income would automatically be transferred to her savings account. Initially, this seemed challenging, especially when she eyed those fashionable shoes or the latest tech gadget. But because her savings were automated, she never had to grapple with the decision to save or spend. As years rolled on, while many of her peers struggled with financial emergencies, Rosa had a safety net. Furthermore, her discipline allowed her to take advantage of investment opportunities and eventually fund her dream of backpacking across Europe. Rosa's journey is a testament to the power of making saving a priority and the long-term benefits it can yield. Understand your financial building blocks. Simply put, assets are valuable items you possess, like your house, vehicle, savings, or even a treasured stamp collection. On the other hand, liabilities represent what you owe, including credit card debts, educational loans, and car loans. The key to a flourishing financial life? Boost assets and minimize liabilities. Let's delve into the story of Sam. Fresh out of college, he received a hefty inheritance. Instead of splurging on luxury items, 
He saw financial advice and learned about assets and liabilities. He chose to invest in a small property that would provide rental income, turning his inheritance into a growing asset. At the same time, he used a part of his earnings to clear off his student loan, thereby reducing his liabilities. Years later, while many of his friends still wrestled with debts, Sam enjoyed the dual benefit of a steady rental income and a debt-free life. His tale underscores the significance of recognizing and smartly managing our financial assets and obligations. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe channel for more content.